This week's of Champions of the Realms Arena was a wild one. The main event featuring Revit Leafing versus Savvy is going to have you at the edge of your seat. I want to say thank you so much to everybody that supports these videos. If you could do me the biggest favor, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We are so close to 100,000 subscribers. It's not even funny. Uh what is up everybody we got a insane fight card tonight champions of the realms arena what is this episode eight i think this is episode eight i forgot we've been running these for quite some time now and it's getting serious we got a couple names here that are uh, kind of new to the arena kind of new to the whole uh, stream in general zombie taker 99 i think i actually ran into this dude in a ranked match and he played one hell of a natara and then rob who take what again i think i might have ran into this guy in a ranked match or maybe he played in one of the uh, cotr qualifiers that went down not too long ago but we, we we got a lot of heavy hitters here gunter versus parsa rob who takes what what when where and how going up against zombie taker 99 and then the main event for tonight it's going to be revit leafing versus savvy now we had to get a crazy opponent for revit leafing because we do know this guy is the tanya god so we went ahead and got a player named savvy to go up against him and those of you who do know who savvy is knows this guy has one hell of a raiden up his sleeve so this should be very interesting i mean we got the heavy hitters and the rest is in god's hand first match about to go down here i'm excited gunter versus parsa oh these guys are wasting no time these guys are wasting no time, actually. These guys are wasting no time at all. Gunter with a crazy Omni-Man. Oh, Parsa was actually hovering over the Havoc, but he decided to make a quick switch to Ashra. Interesting stuff. Well, I mean, hey, this is how it goes down, huh? This is how it goes down, huh? When you Viltramite, you gotta do things. It's going to be very uncomfortable. Oh, already starting off the match with 329. Goes to the back forward four, but flies all the way to the sky for no reason whatsoever. The standing one, two. Very nice. Tries to hit him with a hard to blockable setup there, but Barca trying to stay alive here. Yo, Zombie Taker in the building. Your set's going to be right after this uh, uh, up against Rob Who. Take what, when, where, and why. So just be on standby as soon as this first fight is over. I will invite you guys and we can get that match going. Very good stuff for Gunter. Hey, okay, low hats all over the place. He's going to get trip guarded by Parsa. Oh, this damage is about to be serious stuff. 383 for that. Tries to tag him with the overhead, but a beautiful block coming from Gunter the Legend. Plus frames. Okay, they're getting into a little poke war here. And there it is. Parsa hitting him with the, with the dash. The dash slice. It's very problematic in this game. That dash slice, there's people still looking for answers for how to deal with that dash slice. Omni-Man, one of the more privileged characters in the game. He can just jump over it and punish with a back forward four. But you gotta be really... The timing has to be tight. You gotta be ready for it. Gunter right now with the life lead. Oh, he actually tags him with the 4-4-1. Four, four, oh my god, what is happening? Oh, wait a second. Parsa can make a fat comeback here if he gets this damage on the table. Good throw. Very nice. And that's gonna do it. Ripping off the full combo into the brutality. Gunter taking game number one in this first of five set.
Listen, all I gotta say, Zombie Taker, is I want you to pinch your nipples right now, close your eyes, and prepare for your set. Prepare for your first of five set, because your opponent, Rob Who, he told me that he's ready to devour you. Your opponent, Rob Who, told me he's ready to devour you, and he's ready to spit you out. Like a chewed up piece of gum. So I hope you're ready. Here we go. Next game underway here. Hunter starting off with a thunderclap right in front of his face. This guy's a savage. Oh! Talk to him. Talk to him, Parsa. Drops a combo not like this. You don't want to give Gunter a chance. The last time I seen this dude in bracket, he was going crazy. Yup, jump one into standing three, dive bomb. 313 into the setup. Tags him with another standing one, two, rinse and repeat. Wowzers. Gunter. He's giving Parsa the... <laughs> I don't know, what did I say to that? Oh, my bad, I didn't mean to say that. Okay, wait a second, good block. Gonna be plus frames off of the down one here. Tries to go for the full back one, one string, but Parsa not letting it happen. These guys are scrambling like headless chickens right now. What's it gonna be? A standing one, two for the hundredth time? Gunter, you madman. Wow. Very nice. Hey, good breaker. Tags him with a down one, keeping him in check. This is looking like all Gunter right now, man. This guy's been smacking Parsa with some of the craziest Omni-Man Lao setups I've ever seen. Hold on. I believe in miracle comebacks. Oh, but a back forward two chest bump right in his face. Gonna put him two games to zero here. Let's see if Parsa's gonna be able to retain this information and adapt to this match. Yo, he's finding a true Viltramite here. I don't know what to tell you guys. Gunter is a true Viltramite. If you give this guy Japanese food, he's gonna get the chicken teriyaki shrimp combination with the fried rice and the vegetables. Ooh, look at the character switch. He's pulling out Habit? What? No one, Omni -Man. Could this be what he needs? Could this be what he needs? The Havoc piece with the classic hairstyle, you love to see it. Deadly Rebel in the building, what's up, brother? When Omni Man's on the screen, the Omni Mains pull up immediately. I've noticed that. Oh! Hey, wait a second. Wait a second, he's gonna go for the throw. Snap, crackle, pop, rice, crispies. Puts him in the corner. And a thunderclap. Get that projectiles right out of my face. You'll love to see it. Okay, there it is. A nasty whip punish coming from Parsa. This is a classic combo here from Havoc. Good wake up. Tries to go for the jump in, but the anti-air from the projectile. But man, this might just about do it, yup. He's gonna tag him with another optimal combo here. Good breaker. And a thunderclap to seal the deal. What do you do if you're Parsa in this situation? I mean, the Ostra didn't work out. He switches to the Havoc. He's having troubles with the Havoc. This guy, he's gotta lock in. A lot of projectiles dodges it in the air. It's one thing about a character like Omni Man, you're gonna have a hard time zoning him out. The character almost has like a little system designed in, in, inside of his game style where he is very much a counter zoner at times. If you got good reactions or if you just make some really good reads, you can let some stuff rip out in Viltramite stance 
that'll completely counter zone the hell out of your opponent. Look at this pickup. 425. Goes with the back dash. Tries to tag him with a thunderclap. Wow. Sirs. The realms are mine. Yo, my man's a speed running right now. This is uh, any percent speed run. Parsa's gonna have to wake up real quick. I just noticed there's a like a little flyer in the stuck into the uh, the little pillar that has the MK logo. Y'all ever realize that? And look at that Heineken man in the windscreen. Beautiful stuff. Heineken man, he said, "Oh yeah, man, Papa, you wanna play Fall Guys with me?" He said, oh yeah, man, Papa, I'm a really good duels partner in Fall Guys. You wanna play with me? That's what Heineken man said, you know, and I don't know how y'all gonna take that, take it with a grain of salt, but that's what he said. Do we, oh, do we have predictions running? The realms do not need another There's predictions running. I feel like everybody's gonna be siding with Gunter right now because the dude is up 3-0. He's got Parsa hopping through characters like there's no tomorrow. Let's see what happens. Wait a second. Ultra my stance canceling in the air. Hold on. That's what I like to see. We gotta Parson needs to wake up and smell the coffee. Listen, I got about three blend brews in my fridge. I can hook him up. I got the three blend brew. I got the delight coffee creamer. Extra creamy. I can hook him up. Actually, that sounds good. I might have to, <laughs> I might have to get myself some coffee. You know what, guys? I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some coffee. No. If Gunter makes this comeback, I'm gonna cry. No. Gunter, not like this. He's got one part to let the damage rip. Does he pull it off? He does. Unbelievable, man. Another thing about Omni Man, this character can get damage from anywhere. This dude can fart and hit you for 30%. My god, back forward four in the air, gonna catch him for a launcher. 30% just like that. Bro, I don't know why these stages don't have stage fatalities. Wouldn't that have been crazy if you had some stage fatalities in this game? I'm telling you, man, it's like the, the further we progress in, in Netherrealm and these games, it's like we're taking a step back at a t at sometimes, it feels like. But hey, who knows, man? Maybe we're, we're gonna get some stage fatals in the future because we did see that happen for uh, previous titles. Hopefully it happens for this game. Good spacing right now from Gunter. The dude is looking very strong here. Oh! He's gonna tag him. He can't drop this combo. He has to let this rip. He needs all the damage right now. He needs all the damage he can get. But that's gonna do it. Gunter going up four games to zero here. Very unfortunate. Listen, I'm not gonna be that guy that loses hope on a player. I, I, I'm with Parsa till the very end here. And I'm not trying to be biased, but I really do think Parsa can make a comeback. He just needs to... He needs to tighten it up. Parson needs to tighten it up. Let me tell you, he doesn't got too much room to make that happen. Let's see. Let's see. Pepe and Kaki and Kaka Pepe Land. You guys 
think he needs to make a character switch to John Cena? The thing is, Cap. Right now, you can call me Comfy Cozy because Guns of the Legend sitting at a pretty four games to zero lead on match point. Again, talk about an any percent speed run. We just started the stream about 19 minutes ago, and this the first set for tonight is almost over. Barca needs to wake up. I know this dude's got his entire team watching right now, all screaming to the top of their lungs for Parsa. And it looks like he's letting them down. Listen, if I was Parsa, I would take my pants off right now and get real comfortable. It's the only way he's gonna win. You know, sometimes people play <laughs> really bad with clothes on. You gotta play butt naked sometimes. I'm telling you, it's the only way. Here we go, I told you! Come on, Parson, you dropped the co- He dropped the combo. Chat. He dropped the combo. The down one's gonna connect. The overhead connects. He doesn't get the conversion there. Oh my god. I don't think it's a 5-0 just yet. Hold on. I don't think it's a 5-0 just yet. Hold the phone. Come on, Parsa. I'm completely biased right now. When it's down 4-0, you gotta start rooting for the underdog. Good throw. Were you guys expecting that? I wasn't expecting a 5-0 like that. Parsa told me that this dude was bringing in the big toys and... Wow, GG's, man. GG's. Up next, we got another crazy set underway here. Now, look, I, you, Zombie Taker? I gotta say, I, I've been seeing Zombie Taker in the chat. He's really excited about this, so... Uh, I'm happy. I'm happy to see the dude, you know, pulling up, real excited to play. It's real wholesome. But he's going to be going up against a Demon Ryko player named Rob who takes what, when, and where, why, how. So he's going to have to be extremely cautious coming into this. Actually, if if I was to give you a word of advice, I don't know how you guys uh, do your things out here, but I would highly advise not to pay attention to the stream during this set and take this very serious. This is basically Evo's Grand Finals right now. Rob who take what? Going up against... Zombie Taker! Let me see if I can get his PSN here. And seriously, I think I ran into this dude before on Combat League. And the, the dude has... He has a really good uh, Natara. You know, anybody that plays Natara in this game, I'm a fan. And, you know, the character, I feel like the character got a lot of flack because she was voiced by Megan Fox with probably some of the worst voice acting we've ever seen in a fighting game. I didn't think you could top off uh, Ronda Rousey with Sonya, but Megan Fox might have topped it off. She might have topped it off. And I don't know if that's one of the reasons people were turned off by Natara or what, but the people who do play her is pretty cool. I gotta say, play that Megan. DJ Gallon. Oh, hold on. I am going to get off of AFK here real quick because let's get this underway. Next match. Rob, who take what? Uh, apparently, he does main Ryko, which should be interesting. And then, like I said before, Zombie Taker, who mains the Natara. 
be real with you. When, when you got a production set like I do, sometimes navigating and finding stuff uh, really fast isn't... Because I don't even know where's right. Where's right? Oh, there he is. Okay, here we go. All right, the players are in. They just got to beat me up on AFK real quick. I pulled a fast, sneaky one. I pulled a fast, sneaky one, but here we go. You know, the last uh, COTR tournament we had, Aphrodite was going crazy with the Natara piece. And now, what do you know? We got a, uh, we got a Champions of the Realms Arena with another Natara. Rob who take what? Zombie taker. Two really good players here. I, I'm, I'm actually going to be very curious to see what the extent of this set goes to because I might have pit these, these players up and, you know, we might have an evenly skilled match here between Rob who take what? Zombie taker. We might have an evenly skilled match. One thing I can note is Rob who take what is over the Elder God for this season. So that's kind of scary. Anybody who got Elder God this season with all the desyncs that go down, you, my friend, are built different. Straight up. If you got Elder God this season, you are built different because, bro, the amount of desyncs, I was getting pissed. We got any mods in here to uh, set predictions and stuff? I can do it. I can do it. Let me set the predictions. I don't know if we got somebody setting predictions or what. I think it's slash prediction. All right. Oh, no, we already got people doing predictions. Haven Blade, thank you so much, brother. You see, I knew I made some good mods in here. Blade and Bacon! Wait. Oh, can I not? Can I not? Oh, I, we got to make another lobby. Hold on, chat. I didn't realize uh, Forever King is just going to leave me on the top all day. My bad, my bad. I invite you guys right now. Yo, yo, nah, nah, chill, chill, chill. Nah, 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 chill, chill. Guys, relax. I'm inviting you right now. It's okay. All right, that's it. I'm ending the stream. I'm ending the stream. And then after this match... It's going to be extra juicy because we have Revit Leafing going up against Savvy. And at first, I was a little hesitant to get Savvy. So you know what I did? I got him anyways for Revit Leafing because Revit Leafing is an incredibly strong player. Savvy does play Raiden. And if there's one character or player that's going to take out somebody like Revit Leafing in a first or 10, it's going to be somebody using Raiden, right? That's kind of the, pro the thought process I had going in with that one. Okay, the players are here. Let's get this popping. Meiosis. My, 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 mitosis. Reiko Nitar. So, Dremel. And listen, regardless of how bad Natara's voice acting is in this game, She's a really fun character to watch. One of the better characters to watch, to tell you the truth. Her play style is, I feel, it's not explored enough. It's not. Look at this, starting off very strong. She said, My name is Natara, and I've come here to defeat you. That's how she talks. She goes, Oh my god, I can't believe it's not butter. Y'all never heard that voice line? Big Quan Chi versus Natara. She says that. She says, Quan Chi, I can't believe it's not butter. Oh, whoa, whoa! That was a crazy confirm there. Into the DDT. WrestleMania is here. Okay, no conversion for that uh, jump kick. Very unfortunate. Also, thank you so much for the sub, uh, Jaws Almighty. Really appreciate it. 
We're trying to hit uh, 1,000 subscribers today. We're at uh, 800 something. So if we can get 100 subs today, that would be that would be ideal. Just kidding. Zombie taker right now. Moving all over the screen. Is that going to be some juicy damage here? It is. Okay, okay, zombie taker. Whoa! What is this combo into the tremor? I didn't think that corner combo was going to go that long. That was 381 into a drop. Rob who take what, when, where, why, and how is going to be going up one game to zero here against Zombie Taker. Yo, that combo he had in the corner was pretty fire, though, with the Ryko piece. What was that? What was that about? What? Okay. This is a first of five set, by the way. I am going to mention again, hopefully these players aren't watching the stream because I feel like that that kind of skyrockets the nerves, right? Oh, yo, look at her bling bling. Look at Natara's chain. She said, swing in my chain. I'm a swing in my chain. Wait a second. That's going to be cross frames, I believe. Raiko, such a devastating character. He can mix you up in so many different ways you won't even be thinking straight after a match. Really good stuff, avoiding the uh, anti-airs. I'm liking the way Zombie Taker switching up the air trajectories. Not allowing Rob take who, what, when, and where, why to make the right reads. Oh, drops a combo. Exactly what he needs here. What the... How did that kick even clip him out of the air? Not like this! Oh no! Combo drops all over the place right now, but it's... Wait! Wait a minute. Okay. Good grab tech. Oh, man, the ninja start clipping her out of the air. That was very unfortunate. I thought we were about to witness a crazy comeback from Zombie Taker there. How are you doing? It's me. <laughs> Professor 720p, how can I help you? Oh, no. Tags him out of the air. Gonna put him in the corner. Zombie Taker with the wake up. The double load's gonna connect into the overhead. Okay. I was hoping we see a fat conversion. But getting out of the corner is gonna be a win of itself. Not gonna be a problem. Force Rob who take what, when, why, and where. Are we gonna get a brutality? Yes, we are. My God. That's a brutal one, man. Just punched a hole right into her face. Let's see if Zombie Taker is going to be able to adapt to this Raikou. I mean, I don't really know the, what the matchup charts are like for a character like Natara. I don't know who's her bad matchups, who's her better matchups. But what I do know is that Rob Who Take What, When, Where, and Why is going crazy. Jesus. It's okay, it's a first of five. It's a first of five. Zombie Taker has a lot of room to kind of, you know, to work with here. Surely you need help to overthrow Molina. This time, the general doesn't want yours. Let's see what happens. Round one, fight. Flying away, trying to gain some distance. There it is. I feel like those little hits that he's getting in the air, I'm pretty sure the tower can confirm into a fat combo just like that. Okay, take the damage. Play it safe. Wait a second. Those are the projectiles. Good blocks here on the Ninja Stars. Oh no, the slide actually connecting. 
Into the DDT. This is going to hurt so much, man. Especially on a 950 HP character. Look at that. 385 is basically 50% from the top rope. Hold on. Come on. Come on. Oh! Oh! Is this going to do it? This damage doesn't look like it's scaling. No way. He's still alive. Did that really just happen? I mean, hey, it's kind of rough. A character like Natara, she doesn't really have a projectile of her own. So, you know, the Serena blade call out was a pretty smart decision. I'm not going to lie. Just kind of backing off here. I'm loving the movement from Zombie Taker, but it doesn't seem to be enough. That was not a good punish. Went for the down one on that armored special. Zombie Taker. You know, a character like Natara, I feel like she needs to be on point with punishes just to dish out that bad damage that we all know her. She's capable of dishing out. Wow! Not like this. Holy cow. Champions of the Realms Arena speedrun, it seems like. Champions of the Realms Arena speedrun right now. Zombie Taker is going to have to smack himself in the back of the head and wake up because this is it. Three games to zero. If Rob Hu goes up four games to zero, it's going to be rough. Zombie Taker actually thinking about switching the character here. You know, if he's got the character ready for action, that might be the move. But the Natara was looking clean. Just a couple decisions and everything can go downhill. That, that's kind of how it is for Mortal Kombat 1. And I do feel like this game is a little brutal in the, you know, punishing department. If you're not punishing your opponent for fat damage on special wake-ups that are minus as hell on block. You're putting yourself in a deficit when it comes to uh, King of the Hills. Alright, here we go. We're getting right back into this. That is going to be a complete match reset there. Torpedoes him straight to the ground. Beautiful, the DDT, Deluxe Dupree. Oh, very nice. Zombie Taker does have a fat life lead here. Oh. Just when you think this guy Zombie Taker is gonna do some damage, everything just goes downhill. It's so unfortunate. Rahu Take What is really good at, at just keeping everything under control, it seems. Good block. Kind of flies to the right side of the screen here. A nasty pickup from Rob who take what's gonna get the tremor confirm off of that. Beautiful. Good block. And you know what's crazy too? He committed to that full back one two uh four string, I believe it is. And that is, in fact, punishable. Oh, 
Oh my god. That's gonna be death. Very unfortunate, man. Rob, who takes what? Going up four games to zero here. Making quick work of Zombie Taker. Wowzers. That's it, guys. Let's hurry up and end this so I can go play some Fall Guys. Bubblegum Pink Natara, I'm not gonna lie, the uh, connectivity between these two have not looked the greatest. It seems to be spiking every once in a while, but like I said, that could just be the trash nature of the servers on this game. We'll see what happens, man. It looks like we are gonna get another 5-0. This dude Rob, who take what? Super, super dangerous Raiko. I mean, bro, this guy has the... He has the patience to grind this game all the way to uh, Elder God with all the desyncs right now. He is a Mortal Kombat gamer here. Zombie Taker getting eaten alive right now. My God, go for the breaker. Is it gonna be enough to keep him in check? It is not. Rob will take what on match point. Look at this, send this guy to Denny's. You know what you're gonna do in Denny's? You're gonna eat the whole menu. Ooh, good anti air. DDT Special Deluxe. Have a nice day. 5-0. I'll see you tomorrow. Wow. Valiant effort, though. I gotta listen. You can't knock him. Valiant effort. Zombie Taker tried. He tried to, to, to bring the heat. But unfortunately, it seems like Rob Who Take What was just a little too much for him to handle. You know, there was a lot of games where he kind of had the upper hand. But... You know, it's only so much Natara can do. I feel like anyone who's maining a character like Natara, you you are you're putting yourself up for a challenge. That's that's truly how I feel about that character. You know, she doesn't really have a a, a projectile, huh? She doesn't really have a projectile, and sometimes she just has to play that neutral game or like get a crazy jump in, a crazy float in to make something work. GG's nonetheless, man. Shout out to Zombie Taker. Shout out to uh to Rob Who Take What, When, Where, and Why. But now we got the last match going down for tonight. The main event, the first to ten. The match everybody's been waiting for. Revit Leafing versus Savvy. Yo, Zombie Taker, if you're in the chat, if you could do me the biggest favor and leave this King of the Hill, please and thank you. You could please leave this King of the Hill. Thank you so much. Okay, I think uh, it's Savvy 102, I believe. Is that the one? Let me just double check real quick, chat. That way we don't invite the wrong person in here. Savvy 102, yes. All right, I'm I'm real I'm real uh, interested to see how this plays out here. I'm definitely real interested to see how this one plays out here. Uh, Savvy plays Raiden. Savvy with the Raiden piece. And then we got Revit Leafing, who plays a Tanya. But I'm actually curious to see if he's picked up a different character. 
Let me see if Savvy's around real quick. Give me a second. Savvy, where you at? Savvy plays Raiden and and uh and Sector. And I've been saying for the longest, I feel like that combination is incredibly powerful. I feel like that combination is incredibly powerful. Um, hopefully this guy knows. I mean, those matches did go down pretty fast. Those matches did go uh, by pretty quick, so I don't think anybody was ready for that, to tell you the truth. But hopefully this guy is around. If not, we are going to have to find, like, a quick opponent to sub for him. It says he's online. It says he's online. So maybe he's finishing up, like, a combat league or something. Hopefully this guy gets desynced. So we don't have to wait too long for uh, this next match. But I'm excited, man. I did pick Savvy to go up against Revit Leafing because I do feel you, you need a, a very strong opponent to fight somebody like Revit, right? Revit Leafing, this dude is really dominant with Tanya. The, the, the dude's a beast. The dude's a beast for sure. And then Savvy plays Raiden. I mean, is there? there's not much more to say about that. He plays Raiden. And sometimes all you need is a character like Raiden to take out a Titan like Revit. Straight up. Let's see what happens. This is going to be the first to 10, the main event for tonight. Let's get it popping. About to go down. Revit Leafing versus Savvy. Get hype. I want to see Brendan Fraser's The Whale emotes right now. Round one. Fight. He's doing uh, Tanya Jacks. Very interesting. Wow. One thing about this uh, duo as well, Raiden Sector, you're able to get some serious damage. Like anything in, in, in kind of a, a punish scenario. Oh my god, the damage you're getting is going to be brutal. I'm talking about upwards of 50% with Raiden Sector. If the stars align. Good pressure here. Wow! This guy is playing Raiden the right way. That's right, baby. Storm Cell all day, every day. What are you going to do about it? When in doubt, Storm Cell it out. Very good throw. He's got him locked down in the corner here. Oh, the back two is going to be a very successful connection there. Savvy right now, all the chips in his favor. Another back two. finally have ourselves a match here what was that he said i am optimus prime he said i am optimus prime sins He said, it is I, Optimus Prime. An excellent question, Tanya. It is me, Optimus Premium. Yes! 
Optimus Premium Prime. Fight. Good block on the projectile. Go for the helicopter. Helicopter, helicopter. Beautiful. The standing one two stagger. Wait a second. Because these staggers from Revit leaping. Kind of makes up the pressure. He's going to open him up with the counter. Beautiful stuff into the jacks. Confirm. Charges up the Britannia. Juicy life lead right now for Revit Leafing. It seems to keep this up, and we're gonna be up the rounds here. There it is. Round two, fight. Okay, charges up the Batania again. Kind of just backing off here. Beautiful stuff from Savvy. Wow, that was a wait, wait. Tiny can punish that. Oh, he's in trouble. Yo, Tiny can punish um, his infinity blast like nothing. Did y'all see that? That's a oh, big problem. There's not too many characters that can that can punish Raiden's bullcrap. Oh my god! That was a massacre. Beautiful stuff from Revan leaping. Really going crazy here with the Tanya piece. Tying things up one to one. Savvy started off strong, but Revan leaping just unleashed a demon out of nowhere. Pepe und Kaki in Koko Pippenland. Sisters are all the family I need. Round one. Fight. All right, wait a second, chat. The back two is going to connect. There it is. I want to see if Revit Leaping is going to be able to punish that again. Because we, we saw it once. I believe we, we saw him punish that uh, Batania once already, which was juicy. Very juicy. That's the type of stuff you want to do to Raiden to let him know that you're ready for all his barnacles. Wow. But hold on. Savvy right now. He's got him locked down in the corner here. Going crazy with the Raiden sex core piece. The overhead's going to connect. Goes for the forward. Two, two, four. Good throw. Revit Leafing has a fat hill to climb here to make this comeback. But she's got the jacks. Wow. He's at one mind, one blade. Man turns into Kenshi, flies out of the corner. Beautiful stuff, teleports to the... Oh, that was disgusting! No way that just worked out for Savvy. Sets him up with the rocket, goes for the teleport, tries to tag him with the low. Very nice. Overhead. Wow, wait a second. Drops a combo. Very unfortunate. Savvy right now has a fat life lead here. Needs to chip out that life bar just a little more with Storm Cell. Oye, mira, nena, pero mi nombre es Storm Cello. Mi nombre es Storm Cello. Oh! Savvy, what is happening right now? He just seems like a dumb 
broke into the uh, storm cell. The spacing here. Flies to the other side of the screen using the Sector rocket to keep him a little safe here. Oh, the timer! Wow, wow, Wubsy. Two. Gonna block the helicopter kicks. Oh, here we go. This is the damage I was talking about. Look at this damage. Look at this damage. Look at this damage, chat. Look at this damage. Oh my god. 458 Raiden Sector. I've been saying it for the longest. This might be. What was that? Oh my god. Not gonna be enough to stop Savvy's rampage here. This dude just going crazy. He just bent over and threw a whole flat cloud. You saw that? The whole stage went crazy after he bent over like that. Kevin Leafing using the Tanya Sonia. Going with a lot of cameos we're not used to seeing here. It's a matter of time until we see the Tanya Goro piece make an appearance, right? Tanya Goro probably being one of the stronger cameos for Tanya. Without a doubt. Ooh, this is juicy stuff. Oh my god. Oh! Yo, the damage they're dishing out here is so lovely. Good throw. The back two connects. And she acting like an angel out here. Look at that, the patience. That's the type of stuff you could do with a cameo like Sector. Just let that rocket rip and see what your opponent's gonna do afterwards. Good throw. That's the Sector missile out again. What a pickup, yo! This guy's insane. He just caught a full combo off of the Sector Missile. Are you kidding me? Chat. I don't think I've ever seen a Raiden Sector this clean before. Savvy. Definitely impressing here. But Revit leaving, not phase at all. Going to be tying things up two to two. Nah, see, that's how it is. You got to get the five O's, but then you get the main event. Insane main event. This is going to go down 9-9, nine, nine, last hit, last everything. I promise you. This is going to go down 9-9, nine, nine, last hit. The timer is going to be about 5 seconds. Everybody's going to be screaming. Everybody's going to be screaming, pissing, and farting. I'm surprised Lord Liu Kang doesn't have bodyguards. Why would Earthrealm's protector need protectors? Yeah. Round one, fight. Wait a minute. He's got the golden raiden skin. This could be huge. Down one storm cello. <laughs> Why not, right? Down one storm cello. 
Down one Marcello. Yeah, right. But what's cool about it is, is Bofa. Both of these players are from MKX. Savvy was a demon back in MKX, I believe, with the with the Liu Kang. And now this dude's playing top tier in Mortal Kombat 1. We can't blame him for it. I, I mean, sometimes I think to myself, why did I drop Raiden? I still got a pocket Raiden. The thing is with Raiden is like, once you pick the character up, you'll never forget how to play it, right? Down poke into Storm Cell. That's what Raiden's all about. What I like about Raiden Sector, it doesn't seem as brain dead as like Raiden Kano or Raiden Striker. Right? This definitely requires a little more thought to the game plan for sure. Wow. There it is. The Batania is going to close it out. Remit leaping. Going up three games to two on Savvy. Taking the lead in this. What is this combo? 434 Sonia Tanya combos. That's that's what we're that's what we're dealing with here. Remit leaping. What a menace to society. That was bananas. Alright, that's it. I'm booting up fall guys. I'm booting up fall guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll see you. The most violent. It's understandable, but yeah. come on, man. Leave flesh bits alone. Put the flesh bits. Come on. Don't put the flesh bits, bro. Come on. Yeah. Round one. Fight. But that's what he said in like in, in, in one of his more recent interviews, right? I think so. I'm not too sure. All right, we're getting right back into this 3-2. Hopefully they didn't finish out that entire last match. The game was not meant for streamers. It was made for players. Yeah, but unfortunately, you know, there's people who ended up making a whole niche for this game when it comes to content creation. You know, sometimes I... Sometimes I wish I was all Street Fighter or Tekken, right? Because it looks like the support those games get is a lot greater than what NetherRealm Studios provides. But I mean, it is what it is, man. We got this community built, and I don't plan to uh, quit bringing you guys content. So hopefully we can all compromise here and try to make things work. But here we go, Savvy right now. The Flesh Pits was making him extremely afraid, and now he's going to go extra ham in the uh, Ungadi Palace. Ungari. Thank you, Zer Zerkin GG. You couldn't have said it any better. That's how I feel about the whole situation, and it's like, man, you want to keep you want to keep your creators happy. You know what I'm saying? Wow, these combos are devastating. Remit leafing. Oh my God, blows up the armor. And there it is, the helicopters. Helicopter, helicopter. He said his game is meant for the NetherRealm Studios loyalists. 80% of the people who bought this game left. Fortnite. This is what I'm going to start making content for next. Fortnite. Oh, yes. Yes, 100%. I am encouraging censorship in this game. 1,000%. Yes. If I was... If I, if I worked at NetherRealm Studios, and I know they probably have, like, a relations team, you know, that works with creators, I would be the guy pushing, like, a green blood mode or something. Make everybody's lives 100 times easier. But, for some weird reason, I feel like not even that will stop the whole issue with uh, YouTube and everything. Beautiful stuff from Revit Leafing going up four games to two here. Look at like a straight boss.
I'll tell you what. If we can get 100 subs every day, every stream, I won't censor anything. <laughs> a deal? I'll tell you what, chat. If we can get 100 subs every stream, I'm going to upload me twerking butt naked on, on YouTube. It must be hard not knowing your birth family. Is that the flesh bits? Nah, they gotta reset them. <laughs> Imagine. That's the flesh bits? Now nah, we need a reset! Sorry, man. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Starting off very strong. Revit leaping of four games to two. Savvy. He's gonna have to find some type of adaptation real soon here. He wants to stay alive. I mean, don't get me wrong, man. This game is beautiful, but honestly, right now in the in the game stage, it needs I'd say maybe like a month or two until it starts fixing up. Actually, with the pace, Netherrealm Studios fixing things, maybe more than a month or two. But I think everybody right now is betting on the uh, the next patch to drop, the one that's going to be bringing out um, what's her face, Chameleon. Everybody's betting on the game to get a little more stable with the chameleon patch. I hope they're working. I hope Netherrealm Studios is working their butts off to, you know, satisfy their their fan base and their customers and all that stuff. F fingers crossed. That's all you can really do, right? And here, here's hoping that chameleon is is the next step to the right direction. Good teleport. Whoa, I didn't even see that rocket. But Savvy was ready for a fat conversion there. Very nice. Wow. The chase down from Revit leaping is brutal. Every chance Savvy tries to escape, he just gets locked right back down with that. Extra long baton. That could have been a whip punish. Unfortunately, Savvy not in the right range. Very nice. There it is. The forward 4 3. Gonna close it out. You'll love to see it. Final round fight. Rocket conversions are so beautiful from Savvy. This is so down to the wire. He actually might be able to close this out. He is going to have an opportunity to break her, but wait a second. No meter for both players here. Goes for the teleport. Hits him with the back, too. He just needs to get a... Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. What were the predictions looking like for this match? It's pretty close so far, man. I, I, I would make a... I would probably say Rabbit Leafing got the majority of the votes, right? But, man, this is very close. He picked Goro. Body or his ego? He got Goro out, everybody. This is it. I mean, I feel like we can all say Goro's probably still Tanya's best cameo. 
I mean, you're getting so much damage off of everything. And you have access to just wake up helicopter kicks without a single fear. There it is. Savvy, though, looks like he's ready for this. Definitely. Very nice. Goes for the forward 2-2 two, two pickup. Here we go. Big boy damage into the Sector setup. The throw's going to connect. What's it looking like here? Wow. This is a good matchup. Ooh. Jumped over the air batania. Really nice stuff here. Siders a forward 4-3 four, into the vicinity blast. Wait a second. Storm cell, I mean. My God. 351 into the setup. More pressure. Remy Leaping fights his way out with the helicopter, helicopter. Helicopter, helicopter. Maybe that's why we're getting able to this. I keep on saying helicopter, helicopter. Copyright claims. Good throw. Oh, wait a minute. Is he gonna rip the fatal? He's gonna rip the fatal here. And Tanya, one of those fatal blows that you can get off of any type of damage. Does this scale is a real question. No, wait a second. Oh my God. Is he gonna live? Is he gonna live? Is he gonna live? He's not going to live. Yo, the way Goro just pulled up. Oh, my God. He's like... Fortnite. Goro pulled up. He's like... Fortnite. Fortnite. Little zone war happening here. Wait a second. Good patron from Savvy. Actually hits him with the uh, robotics deluxe. Good throw. Helicopters all over the place. Wait a second. right out of his hands five games to three four revit leafing unbelievable There's a Mama Juana. There's a Mama Juana if I've ever seen one. One Shaolin Dao, one to go. What did you hurt worse, Kung Mao's body or his ego? Here we go. And that's the thing, man. The, the problem is with Raiden is he can cancel everything and anything into Storm Cell, so sometimes you can just get away with full springs and your opponent doesn't even react to it. Doesn't even do anything, just lets you continue the pressure. Revy Leaping, though. Tagging him for some juicy damage here. 317 into the flow. Oh my god! The overhead actually connected into the fatal blow. That should just about do it here. Live guy, who do you even play in this game?
Bro, that's not a command grab though. It, it's an overhead. That move only works if you're if you're ducking. So not a command grab. I got you. Uh, I got you. If, if I run another one tomorrow live, I, I, I got you tomorrow live, guy. But I'm, I'm trying to find out who you main because if you main Raiden, <laughs> you're not. No, you're not playing in it. I'm kidding. Either Aaron Black or nobody for you. Straight up. You're not playing Aaron Black? We don't want to see you play. Sorry. You mean Johnny? No. Oh bro, come on, bro. Have a little more class, please. Oh, here we go. Down one into helicopters. Yo, he actually blew him up. Wait a second. Revit Leaping is running away with this set right now. If he, if he gets one more touch, that should just about do it for Savvy. But wait a second. Just as I open my mouth, he's going to open a fatal blow. I think this is enough damage, maybe? Might be like 40%. That was off of an anti-air. Yo, wait. Oh, my God. Where's the scaling? Ouch. Oh, that was a game. Savvy still in this. He can get one more and tie this up five to five. This is a coin toss. Anyone's taking it. Now we talking. Daquan said I made Natara and Chameleon. Chameleon hasn't even come out. And the dude's already made in Chameleon. That's what I'm talking about right there. Very nice, Daquan. Done. Yeah, this is a first to 10. Yo, Pugasaurus Rex, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. MK1 should have had a tag mode. I mean, technically, right? Tag? Kind of? You, you, you know, the cameos is kind of like tag. No? All right, maybe not. It was a pretty wild decision that Netherrealm decided to go with the whole cameo system. Because remember what I predicted way back in the day where certain characters are going to like synergize well with one or two cameos and there's going to be cameos that are stronger than the others. It was exactly what I predicted way before we even got the game released or we had the uh, beta pop in. The second they mentioned the cameo system, I knew it was going to be a system where you're going to use the cameos that synergize best or you're going to use the cameos that are the best. That's kind of what this game is, right? It's very rare that you'll see somebody pick a character and then pair them up with a cameo that you're, you're not used to seeing them paired with. He said, I've been trying to figure out whether Destroyer is PR or Dominican for like two weeks. Well, keep, keep figuring it out because I'm actually Muslim. Very nice. He's going to open him up here. This is huge. Savvy. He needs to take this round. He wants to stay in this. Oh, my God. If Reve Leafy makes this comeback, bro, I'm ending the stream. Very nice. Yo, not even that, bro. They, they listen. What's up with Quan Chi, chat? How y'all feeling about Quan Chi? I don't think they did that kind of uh, justice. They gave this dude a whole giant squid and has the worst poach in the game and his breath stinks. I don't know what they would think of with Quan Chi. Quan Chi be cooking low key for real? Man. 
I think Guan Chi needs needs a little more sauce. He said I can live without a viable Guan Chi. Nah, they need to make Guan Chi. Uh, I, he needs to be top tier in this game. I'm sorry. I would like Quan Chi to be top tier. It just blows my mind, right? Like, you, you get characters like Raiden. You get characters like Kenshi. Give me another ridiculous. You get characters like Ashra. And then you get Quan Chi. Nah, he should have had a little more sauce. But yo, these guys are going to be tying it up 5 to 5. We got ourselves a set. Did I not tell you? If this ends up going down 9 9 to the timer, I need to be in a different field of work. I need to be like uh like one of those Indian astrologers or something. I think I can do really good in that field. He said if they ruin Ermac, I'm out. Yeah, fingers crossed they don't mess with Ermac. And Ermac better be fire. Earth Realm doesn't have a female fighting force like yours. Yet more proof that this new era isn't perfect. No, King Stacks, you definitely are bugging. Kenshi has won tournaments. Uh, I know for a fact Mighty Unjust won tournaments with Kenshi. Um, that dude, Mar Mari, I think Mari took a whole tournament with Kenshi. He took an offline tournament with Kenshi, if I'm not mistaken. Kenshi has won tournaments. Yes. Is it? There, there's so much. So many events that go down for Mortal Kombat. It's hard to keep track for sure. Surprisingly though, I don't think Kenshi... No, yeah, Mighty have just won one of the weeks with Kenshi in, in COTR. I believe Mighty have just actually won with, uh, with Kenshi in one of the COTR weeks. That character's out here, bro. Don't fall asleep. Tabby's gonna open him up with a Storm Cell. Is this gonna be enough damage to close it out? Yes, sir. Re guaranteed Storm Cell. He goes for the forward 4 3. That was kind of risky, but it worked out for him. Round two, fight. MKX Goro was worse than MK1 Johnny? No. No. No way. I don't think so. Bro, what's crazy is if you're going to take an opinion about MKX, I'd be a strong opinion to take, right? I, I, I used to compete heavy in that game. I, 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 I won a, a offline in that game. It probably wasn't a major, but it was a, it was a pretty big tournament. And I got multiple top eights in that game. I, I know I know a thing or two about MKX. And I'm going to be real with you. I'm still in the minority when I say MK1 is more broken than MKX. A lot of people look at me and they say, you crazy for thinking that. But I, I will. It's like that meme where you see the guy with his arms open and he's getting shot by arrows, bombs, bullets, and the whole nine. That's me on that hill. I will die on that hill with that, uh, with that statement. MK1 is more broken than MKX. And if you ask me why, cameos. Why are there no cameos? Cameos. Cameos. You got Striker, who can make every single move in the game safe. You have you have cameos like uh like Goro and Tanya, who can literally wake up for free 24-7 with armor and plus frames. You have characters like Kenshi who can essentially not let you play the game. You have characters like Raiden, who's basically Flame Fist Liu Kang anywhere on the screen. Bro, this game is this game is busted. This game is busted, bro. I don't know where you heard the arena was only on Tuesday, but you, my friend, are mistaken. Arena happens whenever I hit up six players to get it popping. Very nice. MK1 
don't like this. Like, he's such a potato head playstyle. He's missing potato head in this game, bro. Look at this. Look, look at the game. Look at Brayden's game plan. He does down poke, down poke, into down poke Storm Cell. Alright, Sadie's going crazy right now. Is he going to close this out with Storm Cell? There it is. There it is, Storm Cell. Oh, he stopped playing for a second. Very nice counter. Oh, charged up in his face. That was wild. Beautiful call out from Savvy. Hitting him with a Sector uppercut. He's got the life lead here, but that can change immediately. Never mind a down poke into EX Storm Cell. Gonna almost close it out here. Yo, Savvy's up. He's got a two game lead on Revit. He's got a two-game lead on Revit right now, and things were things were down to the wire in the beginning, and now Savvy is in the lead. This is such a back-and-forth first to ten. I knew it was going to happen like this, man. Usually when you have the first to fives that are just five O's, quick and easy, you know the first to ten is going to be a juicy one. Is this Sector uppercut 100% hit rate right now? Probably is. Dude's been going crazy with the Sector piece. Down for ice cream? Hold on. Oh my god. He goes with the helicopter, the helicopter. Very nice. The back two is going to connect. Sex or missile coming in clutch. Good throw. Okay. Yo, he just staggered that three times in a row. Savvy with the crazy defense right now. He doesn't want to open up. Tries to attack him with the standing one. Losers! Holy cow. That is a funny win outro. He did the lean back to Fat Joe. He said, lean back, a lean back, a lean back. Oh no, what is it? Lean like a solo. What is it? Elbows left, elbows left. I forgot the song was. Oh, elbows up, side to side. And then Tanya said, lean like a solo. Lean like a solo. I'm going to play the song, but we're not trying to get copyrighted here. Unfortunately, I'm going to play the song, but we're not trying to get copyrighted here. Unfortunately. Yo, somebody's been posting the, the Melina and Katana NPC animations on Twitter, and yo, they look like they're on, on something. Very nice stuff, bro. Look at his life. Oh, no way. He's gonna go for the fatal blow. Oh, if he would have backed up just a little more, he could have potentially done something about that. He knew the helicopters were coming. Maybe a jump over, anything but backing up that far. Unfortunate stuff for Savvy. Revit leafing, six games to seven here. Yo, y'all still talking about MKX? Bro, MK1 is more broken than MKX. Are you stupid? Nah, we chill.
I know now everybody's gonna get tight. They're gonna, you don't call me stupid. I destroy. I'm not stupid. I said, well, you stupid. Are you stupid? The next major I go to, I'm gonna get jumped. Everybody's gonna be like, yo, so I heard you was calling me stupid on stream. The weight of your duties must be crushing. My faith in the gods. Thank you, Phoenix. Thank you. You woke. You woke. If you know that MK1's more broken than MKX. Look at this. Look at this. You got Mama Juana in the background. She's trying to figure out why this set's been going on for so long. Is that? Oh, yeah, me that battle. Oh, my God. He almost got the combo off the throw again. This man's basically... Uh, Se Sector Raiden is basically uh, Kung Lao Liu Kang. There it is. Ooh, that could have been a fat punish, but unfortunately, Savvy wasn't ready for it. Oh, man! This guy with the anti-air is so nasty! 348. Into the dash-up throw. Oh, Savvy's got Brevik's number right now. Wait a second. The forward 2-2 stagger into the vicinity blast, and that's going to be chip out. Rabbit leafing. Dude all over the floor. I've never seen anything so nasty. He said they heard that I'm the voice for, for Janet Cage. You know how Janet Cage is gonna sound? He's gonna sound like this. Janet Cage! Yo! Harry! I can't even pronounce that name. Thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Come on, let's get 100 subs right now, chat. Let's push for 100 subs right now. Yo, did Sector just dash up the screen at the speed of light? Did you see that? What was that about? Oh! Don't drop the combo! Don't drop the combo! This might do it. I think... We got ourselves a tight situation. Yup. Imagine I called it. Imagine they go down to the, like, absolute wire. It's 7-7 seven, seven right now. Seven to seven in this first to 10 set. Revit Leafing is fighting, everybody. The weight of your duties must be crushing. My faith in the gods sees me through. Here we go. <laughs> It's a beautiful game, though. That's one thing I gotta give credit. You gotta give credit where credit's due. Netherrealm definitely made a beautiful game here. They just need to, they just need to, you know, tighten it up a bit. But like, look at this stage. Look at all the water pouring out of the uh, the, the structures in the background. Crazy stuff. See, like the waves in the in the water, like and in the flames. That's a lot, man. It's really nice. I got a lot, man. Yo! Five gifted from Thank you so much, brother. He said I got on Revit. Bro, send that to the PayPal real quick. Send that amount, the 82649, but send that to the PayPal real quick, and I'll tell you what, I'll take you out to dinner. I'll take you out to dinner with your own money. There it is. Savvy. Catching him with the EX Storm Cell. 
fight. Oh my god, the way he just got scooped into the corner was crazy. Terrifying stuff. I don't even have this game on PC yet. It, once they start fixing stuff up, I, I might consider buying this game on PC. It looks really fun, especially with all the mods and stuff. Looks like a good time. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Is he still 10 for 10 for the Sector uppercut? Very nice. Actually avoiding the Sector missile. This might be fatal blow to close it out. Wait a second. I don't know. This does a lot of damage, but he's got a lot of HP to work with here. I think this actually does the trick. It's gonna be down on the wire. Oh my god. 50% that last hit of the fatal blow was massive. Nah, bro. There was one thing that I saw on Peach. I think it was a mod or something. But who saw the mod where Omni Man dodges and Vulture Bites to hit? And he, like, what's that pose called where he. He like sticks his butt out with his like his legs spread open. Anybody saw that? I don't think I can show that on stream. We might get banned, but has anybody seen that on PC where Omni Man does the Viltrumite stance and every time he dodges an attack, he literally sticks his giant cheeks out? Yo, it's the craziest thing I've ever seen. And honestly, if I can mod that into the PS5 version. <laughs> I would do that in a snap of a finger. Beautiful stuff from Revit, though. Taking the lead here. Going up eight games to seven. Wow. I said I actually wanted you to see that. I saw it, bro. I saw it, and I was pissing my pants laughing. It was so funny. So, so funny. And the fact that you can do stuff like that on PC is like, I, I think it was a mod because if they edit that in, that looks so legit. I'm over here analyzing. I, I watched that video like five times to try to figure out if it was a mod or not. And I was like, wait, this looks legit. Sorry why this game is all wonky. The fact you can mod it that heavy, like what? They probably putting their own netcode into the game too. Round one, fight. Ooh, Savvy's got a he's got the season skin on. Yo, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I wanted to grind Elder God this season, but all the DC kinda got me demotivated to even touch combat league. And to tell you the truth, Nether Realm should actually extend this season. Because, bro, it was decently for like a month. For like a whole month almost. Desync League. And then people over here trying to get the freaking the White Walker Targaryen uh, rain skin. And I don't think it's going to happen. They need to give us compensation. Somebody said on, on Twitter they should give us Dragon Crystals. But... They should just give us a whole DLC for free. <laughs> they should make Goro a playable character, to tell you the truth. Oh, he's wall is blocked it! That's a punish! Oh my god, that was so clutch from Rabbit Leafing. Jesus Christ! That flawless block was everything he needed. Oh. Wait, what happened? Oh. I I it, I actually didn't get kicked. I don't believe it. Yo, Revit, can you explain to me what just happened? How did you get kicked out? What did it say for you? Yo, so are you telling me all this time I get kicked out of these freaking King of the Hills? I I, I legit think it's not even me. Bro, I legit thought that it was like a problem on my end. I think we might have to give that game to Savvy, though. 
I didn't get kicked. Okay, Savvy. Well, it's 8-8. Eight, eight. I'm sorry. The flesh pitch didn't count, though. The flesh... It said game session unavailable. Wow. Listen, I, I don't want to be that guy, but it's actually heartwarming to see other people get kicked out of the King of the Hill besides myself. Because for the longest time, I, I thought it was me. He can't join? He's back in. Ooh, it's kind of tough. I kind of don't want to give Savvy that game. Because I feel like it's nobody's fault getting kicked, man. Can, can we reset that? Savvy, can we reset that? I think we're just going to make that not count. What was it? 8-7? Can we just reset that? We're going to reset it. If Savvy gets pissed... Well, why give the W to Savvy? I mean, it's just a common courtesy, right? But I think we should reset it. We should all take into consideration how... So I don't think it was his fault. You feel me? Well, I'm gonna get kicked out next. Watch. <laughs> I'm gonna get kicked out of the King of the Hill next. And they're gonna have to reset the game again. This is not a first attempt. This is a first to 20, bro. We'll reset it. We'll reset it. Relax, people. It's okay. Rabbit is pissed. Oh, wait, I gotta change the name. Yikes! He says, Savvy gonna get pissed and track you down. Hey, look, y'all telling me Rabbit was up the round and everything? He can't get mad about that. If anything, he, he saved himself resetting it. Good throw. You gonna go with the helicopter? Helicopter, helicopter! <laughs> he said if Destroyer can survive Honeybee, he can take that. Honeybee did track me down, and let me tell you, he pulled up with a whole Honeybee hive. And I'm, I'm definitely allergic to honeybees, so I almost didn't come out of that, that situation alive. You ever got stung by bees? Let me see a one in the chat if you've ever been stung by bees. Let me see a one in the chat if you've ever been stung by a wasp. Let me see a one in the chat if you've ever been stung by a wasminator. No, legit, like, legit. Have y'all y'all ever been stung by one of those things, bro? My, like, I was trolling. I've never been stung by anything like that, but I think if I did, I'd probably have a heart attack. Imagine getting stung by a bee. Nah, I'm, I'm good on that. Let's start freaking out. Oh, my God. Oh, that's GG's. Man, she hits hard, bro. Nine games to seven.
devotees must be crushing. My faith in the gods sees me through. All right, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anything this next match. If Savvy takes this game, I'll commentate again. But it's too much tension for me. I can't handle this. I'll be back. Up there, I'm not too sure. Oh my god, that neutral Fatal blow. What? Chess! Wait! 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 His fatal blow didn't come out. You gotta be kidding me. Yo. <laughs> His fatal blow didn't come out, bro. What? Look at this. No, hold on. We gotta run. We gotta run the replay back because the transition blocked it. But we actually caught it on on we caught it on the replay. We caught it on the replay. Bro, his fatal blow legit just, like, pooped the bed. With that one specifically, though, you're supposed to mash it. Was he not mashing it? There's no way. Look at this, chat. His fatal blow didn't come out. Look at this. Right there. What? Oh, man, that is such a... That is such a bummer. It was on cooldown? Was it? I don't think it was on cooldown. Ah, man, whatever. That That is super unfortunate for Savvy there. But Rebbit Leafing is going to be the main event champion for tonight. Incredible stuff from Rebbit Leafing. That was a crazy match. Uh, I was predicting for it to go down to the absolute wire. He didn't have cameo. Legit? Man. That is rough. I, I actually want to... Uh, watch that again. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, I need to see what happened here. So, the sector was on cooldown, but it it would have it would have weird. That's weird. Weird stuff. But hey, GGS! Shout out to all the players today. The uh, first of five sets tonight.
there are speed runs. Um, we're not going to sugarcoat it. They were speed runs for sure. But I feel like the first to 10 definitely made up for it. Revit Leafing versus Savvy was one for the books. They were kind of trading games back and forth up until the end there. Really good stuff from Revit Leafing. Staying calm, staying composed, and closing it out. Really good stuff. But hey, that's going to do it for today. I want to say thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in to Champions of the Realms Arena. I think this is episode 8. Uh, we'll probably do another one tomorrow. And... We'll see if we can get some, some more heavy hitters in here to bring you guys some hype action. Until then, I want to say I love you all. I'll catch you guys tomorrow if we can get some players. Peace out, y'all. Thank you for watching. Hey, just coming back to let you guys know if you enjoyed this video, do me a big favor, slap that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Also, we live stream on Twitch just about every day, so come and say hi.